conference? The conference will be in November. Last year we held it in the first week of November and we probably will do so again. It was at the Lloyd Erskine Sadford Center. We partnered with a U.S. charity called Autism One. Uh, they usually have annual conferences in May and they sort of transported some of their conference to Barbados. Um, it's something we're looking forward to. Um, we still realize now the impact that it had when we speak with parents. So um, we want to make it a, a frequent occurrence. Um, but of course, the current economic situation uh, is not always easy to get the kind of resources needed to bring that number of people. So that's partly why we're so grateful for DigiSelf for taking this initiative. With respect to autism, you have to make the decision of what is best for the child on an individual level. There are some children who cannot handle the, an environment with multiple other children that might be overstimulating. And there are some children who may be considered high functioning, who can't function in a typical public school, but sometimes needing support. I think the decisions need to be made with the parent and the professionals and the school together on an individual basis. Because I think some children who may have um, a strong future academically may be hindered if they're limited, but also those who need a slower pace, more individualized care, um, could be damaged to be in the wrong environment too soon. So uh, I think you have to decide on it heavily on education, on human rights, um, but we also have to focus on biomedical intervention, uh, which is the most promising intervention for many people on the autism spectrum. Um, we also intend to host um, a doctor who specializes in the treatment of children with autism, Dr. Julie Blackley. We're also looking at hosting a psychologist by the name of Dr. Robert Massey. He specializes in counseling families coping with children with disabilities. And we will continue our outreach. Uh, just the other day, I gave away several books and uh, videotapes. We frequently throughout the year will share materials with teachers and parents, meet and discuss. Uh, one of our primary goals is to inspire a vision of what is possible for children with autism children, adolescents and adults and um, much of that work is at the grassroots level speaking with parents to let them know that things are possible to help their children in this environment where we have so, such limited resources. We did a wide invitation to all the agencies. Um, there was representation by the majority of agencies and schools working with children with autism. Um, I am not yet satisfied that we've reached the full range that exists out there, um, and that is part of the work we've been trying to do this year and will continue into next year. Uh, there are families who sort of have given up, and we want them to know that um, it's still valuable to maintain hope, and, and we will support anyone who needs to call me can call me at 233-1307, and I will gladly engage with you, share my experiences.